Number 10, Kyle Herschel Schwartz from South Park. You may not remember this character as thankfully he did not make many appearances on the show. We are not talking about Kyle Berflowski, but rather we are talking about his annoying cousin. As good as this show is, and it is great, this character was absolutely annoying. Number nine, Scrappy-Doo. Hey Scrappy, you were never needed to exist. We already had Scooby-Doo. There was no need for you. Scrappy's like that friend that drinks way too much coffee and never knows when it's time to leave the conversation, which for him is usually within the first 10 seconds of the conversation. Number eight, Skylar White from Breaking Bad. Skylar, we get it. Walter White's cooking meth is a bit of a problem, but do you have to be so, well, annoying about it? Maybe try a spa day or something. Number seven, Lisa Simpson. First off, if I'm being nice, I've heard maybe two good saxophone solos in my life, and Lisa, yours is not one of them. Lisa, we know you try to be the voice of reason in Springfield, but honestly, Springfield does not need a voice of reason. Wow, free beer! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Buddy, those are my quarters. Uh. Number six, Screech Powers from Say by the Bell. Screech is like that pesky pop-up ad that you can't close. He's the reason why the mute button was invented for TVs. Number five, Barney. I'm not sure why you're so happy, Barney, considering your species went extinct millions of years ago. <laughs> the only good thing Barney's TV show brought to this world is a punishment for misbehaving kids. All right, kids, behave, or we're putting on the Barney Marathon. Hi, Hi. Number four, Deborah Morgan from Dexter. Dexter, the TV show was pretty good, but it would have been much better had Deborah been killed in season one by the ice truck killer. Deborah Morgan is like that storm cloud that follows you around on a sunny day, always raining on your parade. Number three, Steve Urkel from Family Matters. Did I do that? Did I do that? Did I do that? Yes, Steve, you did do that. You've managed to annoy practically everyone. My life will be much better if I go the rest of it without ever hearing your voice again. Number two, Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. Just when you thought you could never hear a more annoying voice than Steve Urkel, this character comes along. As I was saying, an ordinary magnet has two poles. The primary characteristic of a monopole, it's monopole. A monopole. A character so annoying, I watched just seconds of his TV show and realized I never wanted to watch a second of it again. And number one, Ross Geller from Friends. A character so annoying, words can't fully describe just how annoying he really is. Ross, you're more annoying than 90s TV sitcom laugh tracks and slow internet. I'd rather stub my toe in the middle of a traffic jam while on a phone call with a telemarketer I have a few of time to tell you about this new package than to ever watch one of your video clips again. The thing is, now that you know my top 10 most annoying TV characters of all time, you're probably in the mood to watch and learn about less annoying TV characters. Well, you're in luck because in this video about to pop up right here, I will tell you my list of top 10 Breaking Bad characters. Enjoy and try not to be so annoying, YouTubers.